Why littering is unethical. Johnny was a young lad and with his friends had strolled away from the tents towards the lake, sharing the old-time candy Lily had brought on the trip to share with them. Such treats were hard to get, but not impossible. There were people who loved to make such things, but no robots to create them had been produced. It was never seen as a need. Most tended to avoid sugar. Still in all, there were people motivated from their heart to create confections for the ones who wanted a treat, paying in humble thanks and friendship. Fortunately, Lily had managed a small bag full through a woman her mother was friends with, delighted she could share with her friends on the camping trip. Opening the sealed bag with ceremony, Lily removed a piece and looked at it with curiosity. They call this butterscotch. The butterscotch pieces wrapped in yellow cellophane were handed around with rich thanks paid to Lily. They each held three pieces when all were shared, and they examined the candy as they walked down the path. How do they open? Sandy asked after licking the cellophane to be sure it wasn't part of the candy. Johnny thought to pull the side edges and showed everyone what happened. Look, he said. They open this way. The others watched as he demonstrated with his second piece. Admiring this simple way, the pieces were protected. Together, the group unwrapped the pieces, and they each, as the task of opening was complete, popped a candy into their mouth. Expressions ranged from utter delight to meh. Johnny went to tuck the wrapper in a pocket, only to discover that he had foolishly chosen garments that had none. Looking at the small bit of cellophane, he shrugged and tossed it towards the forest. Oh, come on, Johnny! You know it's unethical to litter! Joshy looked at Johnny with great disapproval. Johnny blushed and ran over to pluck the bit from a bush it was caught in. Really, Johnny explained, it was such a small bit and I figured it wouldn't matter. I just don't have any pockets at the moment. Sandy frowned and asked as she reached for the cellophane and took it. Why didn't you ask one of us to put it in our pocket? She tucked it into hers. I guess I just didn't think of it. I mean, it's my planet, right? Joshy shook his head. Yes, he admitted, it is your planet, but it's mine. And all of us born here on Earth's. It's not yours alone. Johnny looked abashed. I know, it's just that I figured that one piece... Lily asked, what if everyone thought... It's just that one piece, and toss trash willy-nilly. The others nodded. Johnny looked uncomfortable. Okay, okay, I know I broke the second law, but it seemed so trivial. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent take or damage something that does not belong to you alone, Joshy recited. Johnny sighed, and the planet does not belong to me alone, and littering is a form of damage. He took a deep breath, and therefore littering breaks the law. The others nodded. So what is my ethical punishment? Johnny looked sheepishly at the rest. Well, you fixed the damage, Sandy said. I say we leave it at a shame on you and move on. She looked at the others for confirmation. Joshy lifted a brow. Maybe we should report this on the web and see what others think. Johnny looked aghast. 
A wide smile broke out on Joshi's face. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Shame on you, and move on it is. Johnny rolled his eyes a bit and smiled back. You can be such a jerk sometimes. The group laughed and moved on down the path, making commentary on butterscotch. This has been an illustrative work showing the pervasiveness of ethics in the future and one simple situation where it is applied. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a bit more about what I work to create here on our planet, a society of ethical sovereigns. The Three Laws of Ethics 1. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent hurt or kill the flesh of another. 2. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent take or damage anything that does not belong to you alone. 3. Do not willfully defraud another, which can only happen without fully informed consent. Please see the blueprint in the playlist on my uToilet accounts and my posts on BitChute. And share. When enough of us know we can create better on our planet, we will. Amaterasu Solar. Shill for Humanity. Love always. Humanity will win. <laughs>